What's up guys, Epoxy bringing you guys a Fallout New Vegas mod. So we are going over Novak Bunker by Jugahaxer, and this mod was made in 2010, so it's not the most amazing mod. But basically what I'm going to be doing is going over some mods that are a little bit older, or maybe not the most amazing, just so that you guys can see whether you actually want to download it or not. And I just kind of want to kind of make it so that you don't download mods that you don't want to download, because they appear like they're good on the Nexus. Uh, this mod doesn't really show much on the Nexus. It does have two videos, but the videos are really low quality, and um, they're just kind of not really good. Um, but uh, other than that, the mod is kind of cool. It does have... It, it basically what it is is it's a bunker in Novak. It's kind of off to the side of Novak, and it basically... Once you get into it, down in the first room, there's going to be an enemy. It looks like Benny, but it's not, apparently. Um, and if you take out the enemy, you will be able to pick up a key, and also all of his items as well. Like, a, uh, I think there's like a, a machine gun grenade launcher or something like that. Um, and then also in that room, there are a bunch of blackjack tables that you can play on. And also, uh, once you get the key, you can go into the next room, and basically that's kind of like a house kind of area. It's got a bed, it's got some containers, and it's got a throne. It's got a badass throne. You can't argue with that. It's got a throne. You can't beat that. But um, I personally think that this is an okay mod. Um, if you do want to have that extra kind of like location to just rest at Nero Novak, there are already locations and you get a hotel or whatever there. Uh, so this isn't really needed, but um, if you want, you can install this mod, check it out if you really want to. Um, I personally wouldn't suggest it, but I'm, I'm not trying to bash on any mods here. I just want to give you guys kind of like a real sight into the mods, whether you should actually waste or use your time to actually install the mod and play with it. Um, so gameplay, I'll give it a 2 out of 5. Uh, quality, I'll give it, well... The quality is, uh, I guess, a 2, and the immersion is a 5 because it just, it, it's immersive, and I can't argue with that. Uh, longevity, I'll give it a 0, and attention to detail, I'll give it a 1, just, just to be nice. And the overall score is 10 out of 25, so that is a failing score, and usually when a mod is a failing score, in my opinion... I suggest on not downloading it, but I'm not gonna bash on. I'm not. I'm not gonna try to bash on any mods. So um, if you want to install this and check it out yourself, definitely do that. And it, this mod did accomplish what it was going for. Maybe not the best because it was made in 2010. So I can't really. I can't really bash it, anyways. Even if I wanted to, because this was made in 2010, back when mods were new even that amazing and there weren't many amazing mods when like there is now like there's like hundreds if not thousands of amazing mods and uh yeah it did kind of accomplish what it wanted it wanted to make kind of like a simple kind of uh house kind of thing <laughs> but um yeah uh i think it's okay i'm probably going to uninstall it myself but if you guys really do want to you can check it out but anyways guys that's it for this video hope you guys did enjoy if you did smack that like button down below and click that subscribe button if you are new to my channel anyways guys this has been epoxy don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming no peace